Welcome to this short demo of Sprintbase, a new platform that actively guides remote teams through a proven innovation process, helping them to apply design thinking with confidence, build new skills, and get results. Built-in guidance, tools, and expert tips help teams to quickly begin tackling real innovation challenges and creating a real impact. Sprints can last just a few weeks or up to multiple months and be completely virtual or involve a blend of in-person and remote working. Your sprint-based journey starts here at your team dashboard. Here you can see your design challenge, further details on the design brief or problem statement, the design process your team will follow and your team profiles and roles. As we scroll down, you can set the deadlines for each step of the process. We can move these around here to determine when the teams will be notified of key milestones and required actions. When we are happy with the timings, we can export these deadlines to our calendars. The first step in the process is field research, which can be found using the side navigation or directly from the process diagram in the dashboard. You'll notice that every step in Sprintbase has two tabs. Our workspace, where the team members upload and organize their work, and a guidance tab to help teams stay on track and do a great job every step of the way. Here we can find helpful information like what you need to do to complete the step, expert tips and tricks, and a set of practical downloadable tools and templates. In the workspace, the team captures their research as photos, interviews and video clips. Research findings are submitted to the workspace by clicking the Add button. This can be done using your mobile phone or tablet. Teams can also collaborate using interactive multimedia templates to create detailed user personas and journey maps, or upload their own frameworks. Findings can be clustered into themes using the Label tool. If I want to create my own sorting of the team's findings, I can do this in my personal workspace that only I can edit. We also have the option to view this in full screen, to zoom in and out, and to navigate around the workspace using the workspace map. When we are done with field research, the team leader can advance to the next step. Step 2 forming insights based on what the team discovered in the field. We add insights and labels by clicking on the Add button. Observations can be helpful to form our insights, but we might also want to hide these if we prefer. We now open voting. Everyone on the team gets 10 votes to place on the insights that they think are the most interesting. This can be a really great place for a bit of additional coaching to help teams focus on the most novel and revealing insights, not just voting for the most obvious or safest options. Once everyone has voted, we move on to the next step, automatically pulling through the top insights. In Focus the Challenge, our task is to turn our insights into how might we questions, to focus the team's innovation efforts on opportunities that matter most to users. The team then votes for the opportunities they want to take forward to brainstorming. Coming into the Generate Ideas step, we see the top How Might We questions in the tabs across the top of the workspace. Team members are encouraged to do multiple rounds of idea generation, use a variety of tools and methods from the Guidance tab, and work with people not on their core team to get greater diversity of ideas, uploading the best into the workspace. Again, a bit of coaching support can help teams converge around a great set of ideas to take forward to prototyping. In the prototyping step, we make ideas tangible in order to get some quick feedback. The Get Feedback button lets you email your prototype to anyone, and their feedback then shows up directly in the platform. This team has made a number of iterations of their prototype before moving to the final step, implement. Here the team shift their focus to the feasibility and viability of their top prototypes, plan their next steps and create a short video pitch to help garner further support for their ideas. The last thing to do is produce a PDF report of your team's sprint. 
Here, all of the team's work from field research to prototypes has been automatically captured to be shared with colleagues, users or project sponsors. To get started with Sprintbase, visit us at sprintbase.io and start your free trial. If you think you'd like to become a certified Sprintbase coach, please contact our team to learn more on info at sprintbase.io.